Well, well, well. You know, as soon as I just get off, as soon as I get off for the day, and all the news is done and over with, uh, more big news pops up. And, uh, probably won't be too much of a surprise of what I'll be talking about on this particular video. But, uh, yeah, Trump's house was raided. Um, uh, by the FBI. Now, we have heard that the FBI has been trying to get rid of conservatives for, uh, for a little bit, the, uh, not too long ago, and, um, we're having some, uh, interesting cases coming up. I'll probably put in my own opinions here after the article, but, uh, this seems like, uh, a very huge political attack, and, uh, things are not going to be so super hot when, uh, uh I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, when Civil War actually pops out, because this is getting kind of insane, to be honest with you. Breaking. Donald Trump announces Mar-a-Lago Mar was raided by FBI. Mar-a-Lago is currently under siege, raided, and occupied by a large group of FBI agents, the former president said in a statement around 7 p.m. on August 8th. Nothing like this has ever happened to a president of the United States before, said, said, Trump said in a statement. After working and cooperating with the relevant government agencies, this announced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate. The purpose of the search was not immediately clear. Trump noted that, that agents exclude, executing a search warrant even broke into a safe. The Justice Department has accelerated its investigation into the January 6th attack on the Capitol and further examined Trump's actions to overturn the 2020 elections as well as to remain in power, according to The Hill. In February, the National Archives and Records Administration formally denied searching Mar-a-Lago for documents for Trump's, uh, Trump's time in the White House. Throughout the course of the last year, NARA obtained the uh, cooperation of Trump representatives to locate presidential records that had not been transferred to the National Archives at the end of the Trump administration. The National Archives wrote in a statement per Newsweek when a representation informed NRA in December 21 that they located some records. NARA arranged for them to be secretly transported to Washington. NARA officials did not visit or raid the, the Mar-a-Lago property. I don't even know if it's going to be, is it real, honestly, if it's pronounced N-A-R-A -A or just N-A-R-A. So I'm kind of just kind of thinking it's just N-A-R-A, but who knows. I, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, let's continue. Uh, Trump is currently in New Jersey near the Trump National Golf Club, a Ben minister. I stood for America's periodic cooperation. I restore power to the people and truly deliver for our country like we have never seen before, Trump wrote. The establishment hated it. Now, as they watch my endorsed candidates win big victories and see dominance in, in our polls, they are trying to stop me and the Republican Party once more. He called for the witch hunt to be exposed and stopped. I agree. This is an obvious political attack. And we know the Doge and the FBI are quite honestly not the greatest group of people as of yet. And I honestly think that the FBI and, of any, and the Doge needs to be completely abolished. Because this is a massive escalation onto what is currently happening in our country and we all know this is a political attack rather than just you know anything else of the, of the matter um it, this is a huge problem to where uh this could very easily spark a civil war if the uh if our federal government does not uh be careful we all know that they have launched a they have launched their uh tax reduction plan would end up hurting more people of uh, of I would say of uh, lower bracket and uh, uh, lower class and middle class pe uh, people so um, there's also that that's happening and we have a pretty much a big problem on terms of what would be happening next see there are people that I have been talking to and just trying to discourse and stuff and saying that okay people are not tired of it or whatever and I keep on saying the spark has not been lit yet um we have seen things slowly decay and go down now we're talking if we're talking about the actual uh the, the 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 part of society and stuff like that listen we know we can fight back against certain of these things because it's not really cause for civil war just yet for that part for that example um, remember, if we go back 10 years ago, a lot of this stuff wasn't really a thing or, uh, or like, an issue, right? Now, skip 10 years, and now this is a major issue. Um, so, things have been escalating, but they've been escalating very slowly. Like I said, if you wanted a civil war, then things needed to be done about 
oh, has needed to be done 10 years ago. Uh, things wouldn't need, We would have to know what things were going to happen 10 years from now. We get to speculate, but we can't. We don't know. We do know that Democrats are at, potentially at this point very evil. Uh, they're using their political power to go after big figures, and then afterwards, if they go with, after these big figures, they're going to go after the middleman, which they're already doing with the IRS type of deal and their uh, tax reduction plan, which is terrible. Um, people are going to start wondering why are our taxes going down? Why are, why is our taxes going up? Why is the inflation going up? Why is everything that we're what, everything we're doing have to cost more money? And that is because the people that you voted for w are doing this to you. Unfortunately, we have a lot of stupid people that still don't want to see reason or refuse to see reason. And I think that a lot of our people are, are ignorant. Then you have people like some people in my family members that want to completely refuse to see the truth because they they can't critically think or they're just too dumb. So, there's also that. Uh, I do think that we need to uh, enlighten people and make more people aware of what's going on. And... By all means, I do not want, I'm not angry because this happened to Trump. I'm angry this happened to fucking anyone, and it would be the same thing if a Republican went after a Democrat for political reasons as well. Um, nothing should be political, and we all know this is political. Uh, they have not, <laughs> like, this is quite obvious that what it is. And if we go in to continue this specific article, this new article of what we have as of today, FBI's Mar-a-Lago raid could stop Trump from running in 2024, legal analysis says. Uh, U.S. Code Title 18, Section 2071 states that whoever having the custody of any such record proceeding map, book, document, paper, or other thing, things, uh, willfully and unlawfully conceals, removes, mutilates, obliterates, falsifies, or destroys the same shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than three years or both and shall forfeit his office and be disqualified from holding any office under the United States. Person went to the Federal Bureau of Investigations, fuck you FBI, raid of, uh, raid of Trump's palatial Mar-a-Lago uh, Mar residence on August 8th. This statute m could be employed by Trump's political opponents to stop his future political ambitions. If Trump is convicted under this federal statute, which he would be not be, uh, uh, which he would not be uh, convicted on this uh, federal statute. He would be prohibited from promoting uh, any office, including the office of president, former federal pre prosecutor Nyami Yurami told Daily Mail. mar -a was raided by the FBI as part of the investigation to determine whether he retained classified documents taken from his ten ten tenure as president. The move storming a former president's pri private residence is unprecedented and an escalation in tensions between the Trump administration and political foes seeking to thwart his return to public office, which I don't think is going to thwart his, uh, his return to public office. If anything, this is going to make empower him more to get back into the public office than anything. And this will honestly strengthen the Republican Party more than they, act, than they seem to realize. I think this is actually a backfire on their part. Because the only thing that's going to... There's only two things that's going to happen here. It um, bolsters and empowers the Republican Party, or it starts a civil war. So they only had two options here. This is, this did not benefit the Democrats at all. I think this severely hurt them in a very negative way. Uh, shortly after the raid, Trump in a statement released on a social media platform, Truth Social, characterized the raid as prostitutional misconduct, weaponization of the justice system, and an attack by Democrats who don't want him to run for president in 2024. When the former president left office in 2021, his team reportedly took 15 boxes of material with him. The National Archives confiscated the boxes a, a year later, arguing that their contents were protected and that storage and their storage at the Mar-a-Lago violated the Presidential Records Act, which requires the U.S. government to keep all forms of certain documents and communications related to the White House duties. The FBI agents on investigation like this are not always going to find every missing document or even discover every instance when a paper went missing, Rahmani said. It's not hard to destroy documents, and in some cases, investigators will never find any evidence that the document even existed. He also stated that the raid was likely carried out in a search of additional documents that should have been in, in the National Archives. Rahmani also noted that the evidence of the raid could also be used by the January 6th Committee, which has been exploring the prospect of detecting the former president and those within his orbit. Yes, and I agree. But here's the thing that they uh, that the generalist committee doesn't understand: majority of people don't watch these animals. They don't. Most people don't care about the genesis community, and they have been fall, uh, failing to reach anybody that they really wanted to. Nobody really likes the generalist community. Nobody cares about them, and they keep on propping this stuff up. They are a lie. They are a farce. They are beyond corrupt, and they are communists. 
These people were not meant to be negotiated with. They are meant to be kicked out, and I will honestly dare say kicked out of the country for good because they are evil. They are the legitimate of evil. They do not care about the American people. They want power. They want power over the American people, and that is it. Until we kick these evil communists out of our country, we will continue to have these evil people in it. Now, I'm talking about people of the political power because the people of the political power are causing immense damage to the American people. And I think it's time for people to wake up. If you don't realize now what the actual the actual state of our country is after this attack on Trump just for political reasons, then there's no saving you and you need God given help. So let's so let me enlighten you. Please share, follow, subscribe to this channel and even like and you'll see news that you probably haven't seen before, so that way you'll understand the state of our country, the state to where your life is, the state where your freedoms are, and that way you can know how to fight back. Stay tuned, because there's going to be more coming after this. See you guys later.